Hey internet, um, I'm going to do uh, a little um, take two of the video that I uploaded yesterday. Um, I've spoken to Paul, Paul uh, Menzies. Um, we had a little conversation, in fact we had a long conversation. Um, gave me some information um, about these owners, um, how many he's bought and um, how many he might be intending on buying. Um, Paul had a concern about something that I mentioned in the video. It was just a small, small part. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've kind of edited, edited the video, took out a little part, and um, I'm going to rejoin it. And uh, I'm just going to put this into the front of the video. Um, if you watch to the end of the video, um, I'm going to show you uh, two screenshots of uh, part of the conversation, just a couple of small points. One was his concern, which will be in the, the first picture. And in the second picture is the fact that he's fine with being known and named as the buyer of the coins. So for the guys on the Silver Forum, um, to address your concerns, uh, Numistaker mentioned something about privacy and doing this and that. Um, well, Numistaker, you can uh, probably edit your post now because, uh, as I said, you'll see from the end of this uh, video and the picture that I'm going to show you, um, Paul is fine with being known as the buyer. So um, for uh, Olden, who is uh, on the Silver Forum, and for anyone else who has a concern about naming Paul, uh, it's fine. Uh, as I said, the picture's there in the end uh, for verification. Ready, let's get on with this video. Hey Internet and welcome back to uh, a very, very quick update um, on the uh, Una and the Line, the gold. Uh, as you know, I've been following these uh, throughout eBay. Um, so I'm going to today tell you who the buyer is of these coins. Um, now, we don't know why he wants so many, uh, but I was paying uh, £38,000 for uh, two coins. Um, and if you have one of these coins and this guy is buying these coins right now, um, my advice would be to basically take your profits if you can. Um, so this guy, he is also a coin dealer. Uh, generally, he buys proof coins, but he, I believe he might be um, a little bit of a um, coin collector. Um, and what I think is that he buys... Um, these Royal Mint uh, modern proofs, uh, sells them at profits and basically puts the profits towards his uh, own collection. Uh, this this buyer uh, actually paid the highest price ever for a original Una in the line. Uh, he paid nearly half a million pounds uh, from a Baldwin sale. And um, so he's obviously, he's got very deep pockets um, and I believe uh, on the 12th or 13th uh, of January uh, 2020, uh, he paid uh, $16,800 for a very nice graded 1839 Sovereign, uh, 64 graded one. Uh, so he does have very deep pockets. Um, so if I remember this guy's name here, David W9591. Um, he sold one to the buyer that we've been watching, uh, the guy with the uh, 4550 feedback. And um, he also bought this one. As you can see here, he's now 4551 feedback. And I can reveal to you now who that man is. He's Paul Menzies. And there you can see where the ZL comes from and the UE comes from. There's the UE4551 and you can see here why we know that because if you look down here you'll see David W9591. So that is your buyer uh, and he's obviously he's got as I said he's got very deep pockets and if he is uh, basically buying at that level I don't know what price level he's going to be selling at but um, or maybe he's got buyers already lined up. I still think the price is quite astronomical. Um, so, um, just one other thing. Uh, coin 
coin cabinet. Uh, they've got an auction coming up, I think it's the end of January. And um, this is what we're going to be watching, this coin here. Um, this will give you probably a better idea of price level. Um, no normal collector can afford these type of coins right now. So it'll be interesting to see where this uh, this coin goes to, and uh, we'll be watching that one with uh, bated breath and, and see what sort of level that gets to. Okay, guys, that is my. Uh, oh, sorry, just one last thing. Uh, I believe that Numistacker had sold his coin early on, and if you remember in the first video on this uh, on this coin. You remember I mentioned that the coin cabinet had said they had sold one for a buyer or they had sold it on commission for a buyer um, that hadn't actually collected it at that point and I believe it was more than likely Numistaka. So the one that he was showing you uh, on his video was more than likely someone else's coin, uh, the one that he unpacked on the video uh, was probably someone else's coin that was uh, sent it into him for grading. So yes, Newmastacker has also sold his coin. Okay guys, that'll wrap this one up. Uh, and as always, uh, like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.